evening, the state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Writer, publicist and Dr. Toros Toranyan has died at the age of 93. The construction works of the new district of Ivanian community of Artsakh are in progress. Any kind of persecution or trial of prisoners is a gross violation of international law, Arminius Ombudsman says. The world's largest biological lake of Western Armenia nominated for Guinness World Records. Western Armenia TV represents Mother Armenia Memorial. Nine people died of a car accident in Sebastia, Western Armenia, the 100th anniversary of the founding of the National Gallery of Armenia. Armenian writer of Aleppo, publicist, novelist and community activist Dr. Toros Toranyan passed away in Yerevan at the age of 93. Toros Toranyan was born in Aleppo, Syria in 1928. His parents, Hacher and Vartuhi, were born in the village of Tsipin, Aintab, Cilicia, Armenia. Toranyan is a multi-genre creator. His books are Rose to the Stars, Green Letters, Andalusian Songs, Roads of Nostalgia, Tales Told by My Grandfather, Let Armenia Speak, Through Life and other well-known works. He also wrote Vava and Sarkis Hachatrian, Witness of Time and Ambassador of the Future, Andranik Zarukyan, novelist and poet, absolute writer Robert Hajeyan, Conversations with Sarkis Surenyan, The Phenomenon of Simon Simonyan. He was awarded the Medal of Moses Khornati in 2012. The president, the government and the parliament of Western Armenia expressed their deepest condolences to his family and friends. The press secretary of the Ministry of Urban Development of the Republic of Artsakh, Marta Danielian, informed Artsakh Press. According to her, the excavation works of five houses out of 15 with 180 apartments have already been completed. They are now working on the foundation skeletons. The neighborhood, which will be built according to all modern standards, will have a parking lot, a playground, a sports field, free pavilions, a building intended for long-term public use a bus stop, a stop for public transport. We will also be provided for exterior lightning. The total floor area is 16,003.8 square meters. According to preliminary data, the area is intended for our compatriots displayed from the Mestavar community of Hadrut district. Our interlocutor said. On Wednesday, June the 2nd, hearing of the criminal case against the Armenian prisoners Ludvik Makarchan and Alyosha Khosravyan was held in Azerbaijan, which is a gross violation of international law. The Ombudsman said, the Human Rights Defenders Office of the Republic of Armenia has reported that, as can be seen from the videos and photos published by Azerbaijani sources yesterday, in the courtroom, prisoners Ludwig Mugarchan and Alyosha Khosravyan were treated in a manner that openly degraded human dignity. The monitoring showed that these attitudes and publications were made in order to cause additional mental suffering to the families of the captives and to create tension in the Armenian society. First. All servicemen and civilians of the Armenia site illegally detained in Azerbaijan are prisoners of war. They were captured during the armed conflict and now that conflict is not over, Arman Tatoyan said. Moreover, the Azerbaijani authorities are actually prosecuting the Armenian captives on the basis of their so-called confessions. According to him, the policy of anti-Armenianism and hostility of the Azerbaijani authorities in general confirms the illegitimacy of criminal proceedings, making it unnecessary to even talk about the law. Moreover, in these conditions, the lives of prisoners and the number of other vital rights are clearly endangered. A natural pond was built on an area of 8.5 hectares in the province of Albistan, Marash, Western Armenia. The source of the nettle is groundwater, from which the water comes out by boiling. Due to this feature, the pond is self-cleaning without any treatment facilities. It is considered the largest biological pond in the world. An application has been submitted to the Guinness Book of World Records. The municipality built a pond after two years of work in Albistan, where the Cheyhan River originates from leaking water from underground. Having such a natural pond in Albistan is very valuable and important, both in terms of providing opportunities for water sports and people's comfort in life. According to the Guinness Book of Records, the pond will be presented to the world. On Western Armenia TV, there is an available video on the Mother Armenia Memorial, in which the characters and people are told in detail about the role played in the time of the Liberation War of Artsakh. In particular, he spoke about the children of Western Armenia who dedicated their lives to their homeland. The commander of the 89th Taman Divisions, Naver Safarian, Hugas Madoyan and others. Exhibits in the museum include episodes of the Artsakh War of the 1990s and the Four-Day War in April. In the video, you will listen to the great people who could change history. 
There was an accident in Yolava province, Sebastia, Western Armenia, in which light trucks collided with each other. As a result of the accident, nine people died and two were injured. Ambulances from the rescue squads were dispatched to the scene following the alarm. During the investigation, it was learned that nine passengers died and two were injured. The injured were taken to the hospital by ambulance. In 1921, the Future Museum of Fine Arts was founded in a Tufa building of a men's gymnasium on Astafian Street in Yerevan, which in 1947 was renamed the State Gallery of Armenia and since 1991 is called the National Gallery. It is the biggest museum in Armenia and today it has more than 40,000 pieces of Armenian, Russian and European art. It is the biggest museum in the world with a collection of Armenian fine art. The current building of the National Gallery was designed by famous architect Mart Grigorian. This year is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the National Gallery of Armenia, which will be marked with a number of events and programs. A yearbook of the National Gallery will be published, the first volume of which will be devoted to the history of the individual sections of the gallery. According to director of the National Gallery Marina Hakopian, all the activities they held in this anniversary year have the following goal. To maximally reveal the history of our monuments, our heritage, our wealth. To maximally present all the wealth of the museum. Now I present you Nurse Shnorhali Nortzavik. The full version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.